Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds, middleweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Winky Wright's not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on this ring walk. Roy Jones Jr.'s poise is something that cannot be denied. This is a fighter that knows he's ready to do what is in front of him, and he has what it takes to accomplish the goal. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Ah, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Roy has been known to switch it up many times in his career. Now, he's a right-handed fighter, but he'll go either way. His opponent, strictly a lefty. You know, that won't bother Roy Jones because he's so unorthodox, so used to doing things different ways. Sometimes what people would say is the wrong way, that seeing somebody unorthodox in front of him, well, it's like seeing a cousin. It's like seeing a friend. It doesn't throw him off. Now he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Winky right with a block punch. That's a stinging right hand by Roy Jones. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Keep working the bodies. Solid left hand from Roy. Roy Jones Jr. is hurt by a superb hook to the head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, Jones is cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Come on, kid. Go. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Winky right feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Big left hand from Roy. Come on, let's go. Good biting, snapping shot by Winky Wright. Back and forth exchange. Roy Jones Jr. banged up by a left. Oh! 
saw this in the early half of the career of Roy Jones Jr. He got pushed with a power shot and couldn't withstand it. and he does damage upstairs. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it. And that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. And Roy blocks that punch. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. Roy Jones Jr. is trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as an opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. Fires off the hook. Look at that. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Accurate with a straight left. Scored well up top. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. nice he just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Roy Jones yeah like running through the rain without getting wet beautiful it's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis but it's true Roy Jones Jr.'s punches right now are slowing down he's tired yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired he's discouraged or physically he didn't put the work in good right hand Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Ten clicks of the talk. Big, big shot he just scored with. Reacting to tough circumstances, not something that Roy Jones Jr. has had to do a lot of in his career. But now that's exactly what he needs to do, as more than once tonight he's found himself down. All right, listen. You need it. And round number three is underway. And a smart counter punch by Winky Wright. Come on, Jack, get out of there. Don't let him hit you. Now a well-placed hook to the head. He scored well after being hit himself. Good block by Roy. Let's go out there now. Come on now. Let me see. Winky Wright showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Solid. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Jones is trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Right left, working well that time. Good 
What a shot by Wiki Wright. And yet another big shot comes in. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. Jones is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Boxing writers are going to have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy. Praising one guy and tons of criticism is going to be targeted on his opponent. Yeah, two ways you could criticize his opponent. One is that obviously his...